Flip or die. Oh, not bad. Dad, look at that. Now I'm not gonna eat the skin of these. Let's catch them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them up. Guys, the school of Paco is sitting here looking ugly at me. Guys, see this? Come here. Come here. Look at this fat school of Paco straight down. See one of the leaves? I don't know if they're hungry. It's kind of midday. Can you see them? Straight up and down, kind of? Yeah, no? I don't know. I'm going to try to bury this hook. See what we can do right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One just... I just bit. I need to. Um, I need to cover the hook. I need to cover the hook. If you want to come right over here, you'll see him again. They're sitting right under here, like ridiculously close. It, psh, stupid glare. That that sun's gonna come out in a second. But guys, check it out. Oh, she blows. Can you see him? Oh, well, you might be able to kind of see him over there. They're underneath. These pockets are straight underneath. So straight underneath these lily pads. They're really little though. Hold on. Try to maybe catch them on this side so you guys can see them. They're pecking at it and they're just taking pieces off. So now I have like nothing left. Come on. We're going to get one. They're all sitting right there. They're sitting right here. Oh, oh my god, I had one. Dude, I had one. Okay. There's a yeah. bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. I think we chummed them up. By catching the school earlier, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna cover the hook barely. Gonna barely cover the hook. Check this out. Very tiny. Cast to catch, baby. Look straight up and down. Whatever you need to do to get it away from the glare, do it. Let's see if we can get him. No, not you. Uh oh. Oh no, the school just got scared away by the stupid bird. Right here. Just cast out. Got a lot of bluegill and stuff now. It's hard to get the, the bait past the bluegill to get to these pockets. Here's one. Chewing, chewing. We got chewing. Come on, come on. Got, got a little one. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Watch out, two pound test. They still have teeth. They still have teeth. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Flip or die. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not a bad little unit. Chunky boy. Chunky boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the teeth on that thing. Look at the little baby. So that's perfect. Since we have two over there, that'll be perfect for a little catch and cook. Gotta get that big boy right here. Add to the sandwich. Come on, jump up. Come on. Come on, get in there. Nice. Now we got one more in here somewhere. Sandwich. Looking like a sandwich potty. Sandwich. Sandwich potty. He's just gonna sit there on the grass for me. Now we get one more sandwich that we just caught in the back. Number two. Number two. Two for two. Doesn't matter. That's enough for our cook, because I don't think the girls are really going to eat. I know Timmy and I will eat, though. Boy, we got three for three, guys. We got three sandwiches for us. These are enough to really make a, a solid sandwich out of them, because they're really a lot thicker than you might think. Boom, boom, boom. People eat pakum so much out in other countries and stuff, especially in Brazil and stuff. They love, 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 love paku. So we caught these in our trap. We caught one of them just now, and we're good to go. Turns out. There's someone else who needs to eat around here. And she wants a sandwich. So, we're about to make a Paco sandwich for her right now. <laughs> Paco sandwich. We you take that Paco sandwich, we go deliver it to my favorite girl. Come on over here. Come on. Hello, Cashmere. Come, come. I get Paco sandwich for my favorite girl. <laughs> take a bite. <laughs> oh my God, look hello. Oh my, oh, oh my god! It. Oh my god! Catch it! Yes. I'm not catching that thing. That thing just went inside your porch. Oh, caught it. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, he's right there now. Yeah, we got, got a it. friend now. Well, we caught one. <laughs> my sandwich eater. Look, look, hi baby. You want a sandwich? Here. Come on. Pogo sandwich? You want a sandwich? <laughs> Come. Why don't 
She's like, what is going on? That's why I don't want bass out there. Come here. Want a sandwich? Go ahead. Enjoy your sandwich. No? Oh? It's like, oh, something different. Do not want a sandwich. What is happening? I know someone else who might want a Paco sandwich. Hello, would you guys like a sandwich? Yes? Checking out the shade, these things are ridiculous. Look at the size of them. Look at that, look at that. I'll get a sandwich for you in just a moment, my friends. Do shame move things. <laughs> round and round we go. Oh. Switch. There we go. Come on. That's it right there. Oh. And round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> Even after, I thought this thing was toasted already. You know? So, I'm going to humanely euthanize this guy really quick. So, that's a nice little filet right there. I could eat that. That's not bad at all. Go ahead and throw these to the crawfish. Talk about the street, maybe. Yeah, I'll get back. It's on your back. The Paku is riding. <laughs> it's riding a hole. Well, it's gonna take some training. Check this out. I bet the Paku gets to it first. Hold on, sinking slowly. Sinking slowly. Watch, watch. Look at the piece. Look at the piece. Look at the piece. Oh, Paku got it. Paku got it. Paku's chewing on it right now. What the heck? Look at all the tilapia on the surface too out here. What the heck? I know. Everything's just moving around good right now. Guys, it's springtime and there's a lot popping off. So we need to be able to go out and fish because the quarantine, we don't have time for this, guys. There's a lot of giants out there we need to be catching. We're done butchering these uh, Paku. We're gonna go throw them on the frying pan. I just saw that all the Paku started to eat all the little pieces of Paku guts and chunks. So I just wanted to show you that really quick, but let's go get to cooking. Don't want to show you guys not doing it the right way. Come on. Come on. Oh, can't really see the fire. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put this thing outside right now, guys. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be super delicious. You put the butter in. Pan doesn't even need to be hot. This is the seasoning we're using, guys. We use this all the time. Yo. Danos. It's one of the best. It's literally one of the best. I buy it online in cases, guys. I have so much of this. I use it for eggs. I use it for everything. This is so good. Anyway. Dano's boom. The only thing I don't use this on is steak, and that's it. I literally use it on everything. So check it out. We got our butter almost melted all the way. Just moving that around. It's pretty hot right now. Pretty much ready for the fish. Now what I'm gonna do now, all I really need is the Dano's, but the Dano's is low salt, and you really don't need more than that. But Paku last time were kind of gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more salt to them. Before I even put them down. And I'm gonna put them facing down on the salt. Now, I'm covering them in salt. It seems like, oh, wait, how can you eat it with that much salt? I'm actually just completely dousing the skin with it, kind of like they do when you bake a whole fish completely covered in salt. So this salt isn't going to affect the taste of the fish as much as it is gonna make it not be as disgusting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop these bad boys. Salt down. Salt down. Oh yeah. Salt down. Let that butter get all in them. Salt down. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. Salt them up. While they're in there, like sand. Completely covered. Now I'm not going to eat the skin of these. When I when I eat them, I'm not eating the skin. That's the key. I feel like we're in the Amazon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they're always going to come and jump in this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. That eye means it's cooked. You see how the skin's coming off, guys? See that? That's what we want to see. All right, guys, I'm going to leave them there. I'm probably going to give them at least no less than three minutes on each side. They're really, really small fish, and the temperature is really high. But like I said, fish, especially coming from a lake or anything like that, you want to cook it all the way through. Amazing, amazing. This is not really going to season the fish too much, but it'll do a little bit. So we're really going to season it once we take it out of, out of this box. Love the smell of that stuff. Smells good, baby. All right now, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on a plate. 
turn off the heat. Look at that. Mm. Look at that little pock pock. Not bad. Not bad at all. This skin should peel off pretty easily. As you guys can see, that's going to be nothing. So I'm going to take it over to the table, peel off the rest of the skin, and take our first couple bites. The fork. And voila, that should be the finished product. So now is when the Danos comes into play. Now is what's gonna make this fish good. So it's a little windy out here. Yeah. God. You gotta angle it, right? Yeah. The wind is blowing all of our seasoning away. There we go. Mm, okay, now, piece de resistance, guys. We're gonna try this. Baby Paku, right here, right now. Right off the bat. Last time we ate Paku was not that good. This time, it's good. Jim, <laughs> go ahead, try it. Mm. How do you like a baby Paku, Jim? Mm. It's not bad, eh? It's not bad. That Danos make anything taste good. I know, good. boy. God. <laughs> Danos, not sponsored, but still really good. <laughs> Piranha sandwich, baby. Guys, stay tuned for yep. the next episode, guys. It's going to be amazing. we got a lot to do. we got a lot of big things to catch. It's springtime. It's summertime. The coronavirus ain't stopping us, baby, so catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Catch them all. <laughs>